Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is another quick look at some of the settings in the Settings app. And this time we're going to look at the settings that have to do with the Start menu, because there's quite a few settings that you might want to check out in the Start menu. So, first of all, go into your Settings app by the Quick Actions and All Settings, or the Start button and the Settings gear. Here you will go to personalization. Once in here, you'll go to start. So here are the different switches that turn on or off some of the features of the start menu. The first one is show more tiles on start. So this is my start. This is what it looks like right now. If I actually turn this on and click my start menu, it gives you a space here because it makes this a little bigger. So it means that you can actually see a little more of the tiles that would be here. Now, I don't have a lot of tiles. That's why there's no, uh, it doesn't show more of it. But this is actually a way of trying to get you to see more at the same time on the start menu. Show app list in start menu. What's the app list? It's this famous list of all the apps that are on your computer right here. So if you actually turn this off, you can actually lose the list. If you don't want to have that list there, well, this is the way to turn on or off the start menu list. Show re recently added apps. This is, for example, I've installed Stellarium recently added. This is a planetarium style program for PC. Well, if I don't want to see what's recently been added, I can turn this off and it won't show any new features or apps at the top that I have added. You can also show most used apps. By doing this, you will have a most used. Here it tells you movies and TV, photos, Edge, Canary, Google Chrome, File Explorer, and Edge Dev are my most used apps. So you can actually turn this on. One of the um, cool things about most used apps is because most of the time the most used apps are the one you always refer to so by having that list there you have a very quick access in the start menu to your favorite apps most of the time show suggestions occasionally and start this is kind of a um, an ad if you want it will actually show you some um, you know apps that Microsoft wants you to use Honestly, the suggestions I will always turn off and make sure that it's not on. I don't like that kind of thing. You can have a full screen start menu, which means that once this is on, you have a full screen start menu now, which is different. It's a little bit like having the start menu when you have the um, uh, tablet mode, but you still stay in your regular PC mode if you want. And finally, you have show recently opened items in the jump list on the start or taskbar and file explorer quick access. What's that? If you use some uh, apps a lot, what's going to happen is that these apps will often have their own list of things that you opened recently. So that means that when you actually go to uh, an app, if that's on, you will often have a suggestions of everything that you have actually um, opened. And, um, you know, so if you uh, use an app that opens specific uh, files on your PC, for example, well, the uh, app will tell you, well, you know, this is what you open most of the time uh, when you use this. So this is a suggestion of this is what you should actually uh, be, um, you know, checking out. And here you see... I right-clicked in Groove Music, and it gave me that list of everything that I actually have done with Groove Music, for example, and so on. So every th app that I use and open different files or even web, web browser with different links, it will give you a list of this is what you did um, recently, and you can actually click on it, which means that it's going to open um, directly in that, you know, um, feature that you want to use or that, you know, uh, sound clip or web page directly because it's kind of jumps you to that immediately. 
choose which folders appear on start. This is all the folders on the left side. So you see here, I've got some folders. I've got documents, pictures uh, that's available. Well, you can actually, with this list, uh, decide which ones you want to have. So do you want to have the file explorer? And do you want to have downloads and maybe music and uh, videos? Now, if you look at my start menu, you see that all of that has now been added into the little icons on the left. So it makes everything simpler and easier to actually use. So I think this could be very useful if you use the start menu quite regularly. And finally, of course, you have the right side information about different information and things that will complete um, the start menu, including making the start menu bigger, changing start menu colors, opening the start menu, and fixing problems with the start menu, apparently. So this is all out from the web, but it's a way to actually see all of that. So you just turn on or off whatever you want to use, and then you'll have your preferred start menu on the uh, computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.